On this episode of AC Designs Garage, I'm going to show you how to hot rod, turbo, supercharge, whatever you want to call it. We're going to hop this, what I consider to be one of the best budget TIG welders on the market. All right, guys, let's show you what we're dealing with today. It's the Art Captain TIG 200P ACDC machine with pulse. It's got square wave, triangle wave, uh, 110, 220 stick wells does aluminum this is like the one-stop get them all shop machine this thing is great art captain sent me this thing out a good while back i've done several videos on it uh, i'll link in the description below the video where i really went over and showed you how to use it and what it does this bad boy even has a foot pedal i mean it's hard to beat this machine this is a sub 800 dollar machine i mean with foot pedal foot pedal's extra but even with the foot pedal it's under 800 dollars and I'll put you a coupon code and a discount code and stuff below in the description. It'll help the channel out, plus it'll save you guys a little bit of money too. But yeah, this is a really good machine. I wouldn't say that this is a production machine, but this is a great homeowner's machine. I mean, you see what we build. Hot rod trucks, hot rod cars, all that stuff. What we do, exhaust, you know, chassis fab, even sheet metal fab, especially with the foot pedal, helps out a lot on the sheet metal fab and stuff because you know you can vary your amperage and all that stuff i'm going to show you in this video today on how to upgrade basically your torch and it makes a lot of difference it's gonna by going with the gas lens you get a whole lot better gas coverage uh, these collet bodies work good and they're good and bulletproof but what it does it basically it sprays the gas out of these holes right here and it comes out then it goes around and hits the inside of the cup and it comes out so it swirls and it's not optimal it works you know it's worked they've worked for years but in the type of stuff that i do i like these gas lenses this is one of my little toy boxes here i use this is your gas lens and uh, i'm going to show you the kit that edge actually sells i'll put a link to their website that converts it to this gas lens see it has a, a diffuser and stuff so it comes out everything the gas just comes out better and just kind of fogs over everything instead of swirling and all that stuff this is a gas lens here and they make an adapter that what i do you can they got these rubber o-rings you can just uh, pop them on and off but instead of popping them off they got this little billet adapter that you can just screw them on this is one of my favorites here it's the gl10 and uh these things are great i got it all the way up to a I think it's the 18 yeah gl18 that's hot rod uh your tens will cover you can even and we're gonna do stainless today i got a stainless coupon here and uh we're gonna do some well i'm gonna show you how it gives good coverage and keeps the oxidation down and stuff but tens are good all around and they go all the way down i mean they got they got all kind of different size shapes angles depths whatever but usually in like your uh stainless titanium ink and nail stuff like that you want more gas coverage but i usually stick with the tin a lot of times unless you know you want no color at all you'll step on up to the the bigger cup gives you better gas coverage keeps oxidation because basically on stainless the color which looks so pretty and all of us like it but in some industries you can't have color because that's just your oxidation but I use a number 10 a lot. Like I said, they've got down to what size is this one? This is a four. I mean, you can get down in nitty gritty. They got all kind of, and I think they'll actually make you custom cups too if you want to. I think I saw that on the website, but they're made here in my hometown of Morton, North Carolina. I support all my local people I can, but this is what you get in your kit to convert your 26 over to like the 920 style. So it comes with your high temp O-rings, your gas lens, your little adapter. And your little uh collet thingy here and uh i use 332nd most of the time unless you need to go up on higher amperage but they got them for all different kinds but that little kit right there gonna make this unit right here a cool looking machine gonna cover gas good all right guys one other little uh, accessory i think you need to get get you a bunch of different back caps like this is a long one i don't usually use these that much these will support a full length tungsten you can sharpen both ends that way you can flip them if you dip make sure you always resharpen or flip your tungsten around to a new sharp end and after you dip because it it makes a big difference don't keep going if you've dipped it it's a bad habit to get into but i like these little ones here this one's probably i'd say maybe two two and a half inches long or the button caps use what i use just i try to make my torch as small as possible just to get in tight places and stuff like that but yeah because these 
These are uh, 26 style. These are some big old mugs, but time we get the gas lens and stuff on that thing, she's going to be a little tight, compact unit that's going to have some killer gas coverage. And uh, I'll link below this uh, kit here that converts the 26 style torch over to the gas, this little stubby gas lens. And I'll link the Art Captain TIG welder and stuff like that down with some discount coupons for you guys. And also, if you want to support the channel, if you don't know, I have some rad t-shirts. I'll get this flipped around so you can see it. Here's the front, and here's the back. If you want to scoop you up one of these rad t-shirts and be like all the cool kids, head on over to www.acdesignsgarage.com and scoop you one up, because right now, it's free shipping. All right, as for setting up, I'm going to be running a number 10 uh, cup right now. We're doing 8th inch stainless, so I probably, if you do the 1 amp per thousandths, that'd be 125. I'm on 145 now. We're going to go down to about, I'm going to say, I'm going to put it on 120, and we can back off with the foot pedal. That's the good thing about the foot pedal. As, as, let me make a racket while I'm doing this. As for the argon, run 100% argon. I just got it off my Miller setup. I can just hook the hose to it. It's just easier that way. The way I do it, if I'm running a number 10 cup, I'm going to double it. So if I'm running 10, I'm going to run 18 to 20 CFH cubic feet per hour. That's, that's what I do. I don't know if that's 1,000% correct. I'm sure somebody will let me know. But, you know, say you run number four, you're going to run eight to 10 CFH. You just, you know, you don't want too much. If you start getting too much gas flow, you're going to start blowing the arc around. It's just like a candle burning. If you try to blow it, it's going to, you know what I mean? It's going to wander all around. You don't want that. So probably about 20 is where I got it set right now. So that's what we're going to do. So, all right, guys, let's get this uh, 26 toe down and put that custom hot rod gas lens set up from Edge Welding on here. And we'll get the burning some rods and see if we can make some cool little rainbows on here i haven't done stainless in a long time so i ain't guaranteeing nothing this is not a how to weld stainless video because i buy these coupons off the old uh amazon i'll link these i don't know how good a stainless this is but you can get a box of them Where they at? i got them down here you get i think there's how many are 12 pieces two by four so if you want to practice with it, you just buy a box of these. I can't remember how much it was, but stainless is pretty expensive, so I try to get these little coupons to practice. And you can make some cool little keychains. Maybe you could sell like that. I might be putting some of them on the website for too long. Uh, I like to set, if you can get these old aluminum blocks and stuff, I like to set my stuff on this when I'm just doing these flat, just stacking dimes and stuff on here because it uh, aluminum will draw the heat out and kind of this works like a heat sink. Kind of keep, keep your heat in check and stuff like that. So it works good like that if you can. All right, guys, I'm going to show you real quick how super uber easy this is to convert this thing over. You just take that off, especially if your stuff's not super tight. Pull your old collet body out. And uh, you can see here the difference in the, the collets. I mean, that's a lot of difference there. Cool thing with these kits I like that Edge sells is that it comes with everything. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep all this together, and we'll just put it up in our other welding box, and basically this is all you do right here. You take your little billet ring, your high temp O rings. They just pop on in this groove right here. That's ready. Get your gas lens out. And it just basically screws into here. We'll pull this uh, piece right here off and tight. You don't want to hog on these things. You just want them just a little tight. And what we're going to do is take our back cap off. And get our collet. The 332, just drop her in there. We're gonna put our little uh, adapter kit there. Slide the old tungsten in. Not that far. You don't ever wanna tighten these down too much either. 
We're gonna, I'm going to run this in until it gets a little snug and get it back where I want it. She's still a little. All right, now, well, I don't know why I put that. I already have one of these rings, so I just put that in here. I'm just going to, this is why I said I leave them in here like this. That way you ain't got to pop them off, but I'll show you how easy they are to come off. See that thing just screws on there. The cool thing about the gas lens is you can stick your tungsten out a whole lot more because of the area that it's covering like that. And look at that. Now, another thing for beginners, guys, I really like this thing's clear. You can just see better. I usually do about on this number 10. I don't know. That's probably a half inch stick out. I usually basically, you can tell, you start getting them too far out, you stop losing, but I hadn't got it out too far. Of course, I'm not going to run that thing unless I'm getting in a a real tight, like two V's in like tubing or something. That's where this little square one here will work good for if you're getting in like a, a valley of tube and you're welding between two pieces of tube and you need to get down in there. That's where this little rectangle thing with Jigger works good. Yeah, I've always just about that much. About the length of your finger, that's pretty scientific, ain't it? Yeah, that worked good, but you can see the size difference in this. I mean, it's just a big monster, and it's, it lightens the torch up a whole lot, but I'm going to show you when we arc it up. This thing's like having an LED flashlight on top of there. You can just see so much better, and I like them. All right, guys, there she is. That's a good-looking unit right there. Good setup, and you just uh, pull these off. These things just slide right off the O-rings. You can change out to any of these different ones. That's the cool thing. It's a real quick quick turn setup very quick change as you can see the diffuser and stuff down there the extra diffuser and stuff man it just uh does a good job i'm gonna show you on the stainless now don't <laughs> don't judge me on my stainless welds i ain't no dabs wellington by no means but as for the filler rod that i'm going to use today is 308 l it's a good all around 1 16th or i got it here 1.6 mm's and uh, i got a short one in here i used to take mine and cut them in half I like to have them maybe a foot long or so to where you feel, unless you're doing a lot of uh, longer runs or something. I just like them a little more manageable. And then I take and put my shorties in here. Actually, this one here may be enough, but I'm going to go ahead and pull another one out so we got enough to do. And uh, yeah, another cool thing about this machine, I can't quit bragging on it enough, is it's on right now. It's got one of those on-demand fans, so when it gets to the temperature, it kicks on. So I'm not sitting here trying to talk to you guys and it just buzzing. So you'll start running it. When it gets up and it needs fan, it cuts on, then it cuts off. A lot of neat features on this setup here. I'm pretty impressed with this. Like I said, I don't have the money to buy one of the newer. I bought the Synchrowave years ago. They're huge. I mean, this thing is monstrous versus this, probably 25, 30 pounds maybe. And it'll do what you need. Does what I need in my shop. I'm going to get my gloves. I already got it set at 20 CFH. GL10 cut. And we're going to try to lay some nice little pretty beads on this. I ain't guaranteeing how good they're going to look. But we're going to try our best. This is just practice. You need to practice. All right, guys. I did a couple little practice runs right out of the box. I hadn't welded stainless in a long time. So uh, messing with my CFH. And that's what you need to do. Get you some scrap before you start on your project and you ruin it like I have done before, but show you what I've done here. If you notice how gray this is in here, and it's a little cold, these areas have stacked up real high, but mainly the gray part, and this right in here gray, and this here has a little bit of color to it. And uh, what it is, I've moved up to the number 12 cup. Like I said, I get you several of these things. I think I have like a starter kit and stuff. This is a doo 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 doo. Let me get it spun around. This is a GL12 SS, and uh, still got the same 332 tungsten and stuff. I dropped down to 118 amps, and like I said, I'm on the pedal so I can vary that, and I bumped up my Argon to 25 CFH since I moved up cups, and it seems to be doing pretty good. So now I'm gonna get us another piece of stainless, and I will say it's hard for me to get really good looking well just welding flat on plate so i'm gonna get a couple pieces and maybe cut one and lap it and then we'll see if we can uh get a little bit better looking weld and i'll try to get y'all a arc shot see if y'all can see it but i just wanted to show you how good the cups work and like i said you need a couple so you can move around and change stuff but as of now we're at a at this point here i was just playing with a little weave 
We was at 118 amps, 25 CFH on the Argon, and a number 12 GL12 SS cup. So let me get another piece out. You can see where I've just been playing with these. These on the back side was way grayed out at the 20, and it was just not enough gas coverage and stuff. It probably wouldn't hurt to jump up to maybe a number 15 or so, It'd give you really good gas coverage, but I'm just showing you guys you don't need 100 different cups to do this. You can, I'd say I would get me a number 8, a number 10, and probably a number 12 would be all you'd need for right now. I think they have a starter kit. But, all right, let's get another piece cleaned up, and uh, we'll try to do a little something here. All right, guys, I'm going to throw a quick little tack on here, see if we can get y'all some decent-looking welds here. It's hard to start lining all this stuff up and balancing cameras and standing on one foot and all that junk, so... Get in there and get out real fast is the name of the game. Let's spin this around. Maybe you guys can see. All right. Get you over here and let you look at it real quick. All right, guys, here's our little uh, tax pretty good. That's where I about dipped it you can see where it blew a little so i'm gonna come over here and we'll take some uh, lacquer there and wipe all these areas off and uh we'll try to we'll see if i can get you a, a arc shot on these and uh get that welded up see how she does i i think these settings are gonna be pretty good 25 118 like i said i'm not using all the pedal but if i need it i got it so we'll get these wiped off real quick and get ready to weld it all right guys here it is i wiped that off you can just use uh lacquer thinner acetone the trick to weld these lap welds like this if you can see where it of course i wouldn't use any filler how it, the edge will fall off is you want to concentrate your heat not up on this edge but on the lower side of that right there but we got that cleaned off i'm gonna i'm gonna run one from on this side and uh, we'll bring one to here and see what it looks like hopefully well we might be able to clean the back side if we need to later and run one around here so this stainless now this is some probably china stainless it's probably not the greatest but for practicing it does okay because stainless is not cheap and this wasn't bad so i ain't gonna knock on it too hard i'm no stainless pro i give it to the cats that can weld this stuff because it can be challenging you don't like heat it'll turn into a pretzel in a minute but first off i'm gonna show you the the vulcan helmet we're using and this trick little light here if you guys want to scoop one of them up, the Vulcan don't make these. These are from Aluma Weld. I add these to my shields. And uh, they work pretty good. They work good on grinding shields, welding shields. And a lot of times if I'm in a darker area or something, if I need to, you know, I may I may cut this light on where we're welding that where it'll, it'll actually light this up more so maybe you guys can see better. But trick little light. I'll put a link to these below. I make a small commission off these if you guys want these. I wouldn't put them in front of you if I didn't think they were useful. I use them every time I weld. So I just like using that helmet for the arc shot because it's really clear and a good helmet. I even linked the helmet in there. But I think you can get these at Northern and Harbor Freight, the Vulcans. They're pretty good. Pretty good heads for no more than it costs. But, yeah, I'll link these below. Check them out. All right, guys, we're going to try this one. I don't know what kind of angle. The weld's probably not going to look good because I'm fighting this helmet, but I just wanted to give you an arc shot, then we'll try to do a pretty one on the other side, maybe. Yeah, let's see if I can get set up here without hitting and getting in front of you guys. Probably going to have improper angles on this just to fight around this helmet. She is. She ain't beautiful, but ain't bad. Been all out of caddy wampus here. Get out here and shows it to you. All right, guys. Here's the in living color version here. That don't look too bad. My space is a little off, but like I said, I was trying to get around that junk and not hit the. 
all this. I'll show you how close everything is. The helmet's there and that filler rod sticking out was getting a little interesting, but I like those colors. That just looks so cool. Yeah, on this other side over here, I'm gonna try to get a better better looking weld, I guess, a little more even. I may do better on this in here, but let's we'll see. We'll go over here and we'll do a do a little more control when I'll get this shield here out of the way. All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to try to do a good pass on this one. We'll see. Uh, like I said, I ain't done a whole lot of stainless, but they have one way to get decent at it, and that's to do it. So I'm going to go down through here and just run a pass. I'm pumping the pedal a little bit just to control it, keeping the heat down as much as I can. And uh, just... I'm trying to make it look good. This is not structural. This shouldn't hold up the Empire State Building. So we're going to get in here and try to burn her up. If that don't look good, we'll do one over top of it. So I like to come in here and make sure everything's comfortable and choke up on it and do a couple passes because we're going to come in here. We're going to heat it up, dab, move, pedal it, let off, pedal it, let off. Just kind of like a sewing machine. Make a puddle, dip, make a puddle, dip, make a puddle. Like, y'all guys know what you're doing. So, here we go. Right, puddle form, I'm gonna dip. Try to keep a good uh, all right. Make sure you keep it down here and keep good gas covers till your purge cuts off. It don't look bad, guys. Don't look bad at all. For me, anywho. If it'll focus like that. There we go. That looks a little better, more consistent. Go down through here. Compared to that, a little more heat in it because you can tell the color. But yeah, that's it, guys. That number twelve and stuff look good. I think. Go around the corner. It's got a little more gold in it. But if you can look the heat input down through here, I don't know why my phone is not doing. It don't like shiny stuff. You can see the way the heat is. It's good and even. It ain't getting big and small, big and small. So. Oh, that looks good. All right, guys, I'm a glutton for punishment. I'm gonna try another arc shot. I'm gonna let you see it right here before we get started. That's, that's the, on the back side. We got it cleaned up and wiped off, and uh, I'm gonna try to do this one more time, maybe where you guys can see it better. When I'm flooring this at 118, I'm going all the way to the floor. Hope you guys can see this. Let's back off real easy and uh, leave it covering the weld here. There we go. Hey, perfect. Looks better than the last one, though. Yes, sir. Let me get you out here and take a sneak peeky peek. All right, guys, I swapped over. It's a little easier to film with the Miller Digital Infinity because the screen's just a tick bigger, so I switched to it. And I changed my settings on my phones. If you guys would ever like to know, I may do a video if you guys want to see it on how I do my art shots. They're not the greatest in the world, but they are a good teaching tool. You can film yourself and go back and watch and see where you messed up. Stuff like that where you can improve upon it. But I tell you, this one turned out pretty good, guys, I think. I will say this stuff is so hard to get. There we go. Shoo wee them colorful dime stacks right there boy them things look like they got some candy cobalt and all kind of stuff on look at that and that's a number 12 look at that that is so cool looking the veining and stuff in it but yeah that's a number 12 uh gl gl 12 ss edge cup right there at 25 cfh 118 amps with the pedal
And every one of them pumps right there was 118. I didn't burn the edge off too much up there. There ain't too bad. Like I said, out of whack and everything. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the colors of it. All right, guys, quick recap on what we're using. This is a 26 style torch here. It's the bigger one there, 250 amp. I think our 250 amp torches are good to that. This is an air cooled machine I'm using here. Wasn't that cool? It never kicked on the whole time we was welding. It's nice and quiet. I tell you, if you weld all day, that mess running, them fans will get on your nerves. But anyway, uh, GL12 SS Edge Welding Cup with the adapter kit. I'll link it in there. But yeah, let me show you real quick. I got my my Miller. See the this is the 920 style torch. It's, it's a water cooled. That's where you see the three lines. And this is the air cooled. The Art Captain's air cooled, so you can't run these smaller torches because they'll just burn up if they're not water cool but i just want to show you the size difference i do like the smaller torch better but hey this thing's not that's not a five thousand dollar machine i mean it's not so but i just did want to give you a comparison to them because there's a lot of difference in the weight and stuff but yeah you can snazz one of these little rigs up pretty good and this thing worked good i mean i'm gonna use it all the time i hadn't been using my miller since i've got this art cap and i really like it i mean if you want to Look at the size comparison in them two units. Stay up there. I mean, you see this compared to that? They're both, well, this is a 250 amp machine. That's a 200 amp machine. <laughs> Just a little old tiny thing, but yeah. Super impressed. That little edge uh, adapter kit worked like a top. You can see here. It's still too hot to pick up. Nope. That was the first run. There's the second run right there. She does good. Works like a top, guys. Like I said before, I'll drop that in the description below. Give you a coupon code, even get it a little bit cheaper. Get you one of them units scooped up. I'll get you one of these edge set up. Coupon code to it. And uh, you can go scoop you up. They sell these boxes too at Edge that you can put all of your cool little gas lens and adapter kits and all that stuff in and keep them safe actually have a lock on them where you just turn them like that and they lock yeah that's it for today guys i uh, hope y'all enjoyed that let me know if there's any other type welding content you want to see all right guys hope y'all enjoyed that little video on the art captain snazzing up hooking up this torch here making a bad hot rod out of it. it's like adding a supercharger to your car it just makes it a lot more better so all stuff will be linked in the description box below make sure you go scoop you up one of these rad t-shirts it's the only place you can get them is at www.acdesignsgarage.com so you can be one of the cool kids and remember be kind to one another jesus loves you so do we god bless we gone <laughs>